what's up guys, my name is Destry and welcome back to What the Fuck 5. Proud winner of Baron Strucker's Worst Show on the Internet Award. Did I just make that award up? Yes. Do I deserve it though? Yes. Anyways, thank you so much to Amanda Brisbane for the topic of this week's video. And remember, if you'd like to leave your own suggestion for a future What the Fuck 5 episode, make sure to leave those in the comments down below. So that said, for today's video, we count down the top 5 banned movies. So not surprising to anyone, number one on this list is The Human Centipede 2. Ah, where do I start? So while the first Human Centipede saw its fair share of angry critics and backlash, it wasn't really until the second movie in the series that they really started to get banned. And just in case some of you have not seen the work of art that is The Human Centipede or its sequels, it's a fascinating film about a strange German doctor, much like the one in Captain America. Only this one isn't trying to make a super soldier, but instead so people asked him out. Sounds riveting, right? Yeah, not easy to masturbate to, that's for sure. Anyways, and although that might not seem like a big deal and you're probably wondering why this got banned, it's not so much the premise of the movies that people had a problem with, but almost more the things that people say or do in the movie, including, but not limited to, masturbating with sandpaper, shitting in people's mouths, smashing a baby's head under a gas pedal, and of course, these wonderful lines. Oh, I'd rather fuck that retarded boy, but... Stop them tears. You're just making daddy's willy harder. Which I'm ashamed to admit that actually that last one that you heard is actually my text tone. And yeah, it's really awkward when I'm in the movie theater and I forget to silence my phone. I don't like Stop them tears. You're just making daddy's willy hard. Sorry, I, I forgot to silence it. What the fuck? Anyways, though, since the movie's release in 2011, it's been banned in Australia, New Zealand, and the UK. But apparently not banned in enough places to deter the director from making a third fucking movie, which I've been informed is even worse. Yeah, I don't hate myself enough to see it, so. I'm sure it's just as fucking good as the first two, though. Number two, Cannibal Holocaust. So this one is probably the most fucked up on this list, and yes, I am aware I just covered the human centipede, but trust me, this one is worse. So Cannibal Holocaust was a movie that was released in 1980 about a film crew that gets lost in the Amazon rainforest while filming a documentary about cannibal tribes. And because of the way that the movie was filmed, it's often considered one of the first found footage horror movies ever made, inspiring a ton of other movies to do it after it, including As Above, So Below, Cloverfield, and The Blair Witch Project. But seeing as how the movie was the first of its kind, many people believed 100% that what they were watching on the screen was part of the documentary that the film was showcasing. And again, it wasn't so much the premise of the movie that bothered people, as it was the crazy shit that happens in it. And there's so many things that I'm gonna have to probably blur out, but let's get into it. So at one point in the film, the male characters gang rape one of the tribe's members and her body is left impaled on a spike. At the end, the crew is attacked and gruesomely eaten by a cannibal tribe. There was a scene where the characters had sex in front of the tribe's people where apparently the female actress actually told the male actor at the time to actually stick it in her. Luckily though, I guess that didn't happen. Not to mention the very real animal abuse that was shown in the film, which included the actual deaths of a pig, a turtle, a tarantula, a boa constrictor, and a spider monkey on camera. In the end, the director of the film was condemned from his native country of Italy and his film license revoked for only three years. Three years! That's basically like, hey, don't murder any more animals and make more fucked up films, okay? I'm serious, don't do it. For three years and then you're fine, you can do whatever you want. After all of that though, it caused the film to be banned in several countries, including Italy and Australia. Despite all the controversy though, the film is now considered a timeless horror classic for pushing the envelope of film expectations at the time. Number three, Zack and Miri make a porno. So this one you may have actually seen already as it was pretty popular when it came out in 2008, featuring both Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks in a comedy movie about being forced to make a porn tape to cover their rent. So the movie was pretty well received, a ton of people enjoyed it, but one of the people that didn't enjoy it was the minister of Thailand, who believed that it was going to make teens want to make sex tapes and banned it. Dude, I don't know if you know this, but people are already making sex tapes, man. You banning this movie is not going to affect the amount of sex tapes that are made probably in your country. <gasps> what? I know, right? Who knew? <laughs> Apparently though, that wasn't the only reason they blocked it in Thailand, as another reason that they claimed to have blocked it was because it quote-unquote depicted sex. Oh no! Not sex! That's horrible! Honestly man, like, what is the big deal? If movies show sex scenes, people will want to have sex! And that's a problem? Yes! Because I don't have sex! Oh, well that explains it. The Minister of Thailand just needs some booty, guys. That's that's all it is. It'd be funny though to message the minister and be like, Oh, thank God you banned this movie, man. My cousin Rodney watched this movie and now he has sex with like a ton of different women. He makes like 14 pornos a day. He has a ton of money and he's wildly successful. I'm just so glad you were able to protect us from that nightmare.
nightmare. But fortunately, if you don't live in Thailand, the movie is still perfectly legal for you to watch, and you should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Number four, A Clockwork Orange. Being the oldest movie on this list makes it one of the first films to ever get banned. Released in 1971, A Clockwork Orange was a story about a man named Alex, the leader of a gang called the Droogs, who go around stealing, raping, and beating people up. And I know you look at these guys and you probably think <laughs> they're wearing underwear. And probably think that this gang really doesn't look that threatening at all, especially because they're wearing masks that strangely look like dildos. But the on-screen violence and rape that took place in the movie was enough to see it banned in Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, and South Korea. It was even somewhat banned in the UK due to the filmmaker Stanley Kubrick getting death threats against him and his family, to which the UK refused to play the film until Kubrick's death in 1999 for his protection. In addition, some countries banned the film because it, quote, glorified gang culture, as a ton of kids in the UK started making their own gangs loosely based around the Droogs. Despite all this, though, A Clockwork Orange is still considered one of the best films of the 70s, and probably of all time. And although I've never been robbed by a gang, I imagine it's probably pretty terrifying. But honestly, maybe I'm just a sucker for British accents, because, like, if you get robbed by someone with an American accent, it's like, GIVE ME YOUR FUCKING MONEY! Ah! Take it! But being robbed by a British person seems like it'd be like, Hey you, give me your wallet, you fucking wanker. Oh my god. You're adorable. What? I said give me your fucking wallet or I'll have to pop ya. I'm sorry. That's just the cutest thing I've ever heard. That's the key to robbing me, apparently. I'll give you anything as long as you rob me with a British accent. And finally, at number five is Borat. A Borat? That was a terrible impression. I am truly sorry about that. Borat, though, is a movie that I'm sure you've seen before or at the very least heard about since everyone and their fucking mothers tried to do his catchphrases when the movie came out in 2006. And I actually remember watching this movie in theaters and just watching this like row after row of people just getting up and walking out of the theater in disgust. So if you haven't seen it, Borat is the story of Borat Sagdiev, a fictional character made by Sasha Baron Cohen, whose journalistic ambitions lead him to America to improve his country of Kazakhstan. Is it Kazakhstan or is it Kaz Kazakh Kazakh Kazakhstan? Kazakh Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan just seems like it's like the American way to pronounce it, you know, like Kazakhstan! Doesn't seem right. Anyways, yeah, Kazakhstan! <laughs> so the movie was a massive critical success, making around $261 million worldwide and rating a 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. Not that I really trust Rotten Tomatoes because they gave fucking the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, like the old one, a 41%. 41! Bullshit. That movie's fucking dope. However, not everyone was a fan of the movie's incredibly dark humor, as it was banned in every Arab country except Lebanon, citing that the reason that it was banned was that it was placing harmful stereotypes on their people. Even the country of Kazakhstan actively protested the movie until very recently when they've actually thanked the movie as creation because of their enormous tourist boom. A censor at Dubai's Ministry of Information called Borat vile, gross, and extremely ridiculous, adding that if all of the offensive scenes were cut out of the movie, only 30 minutes would remain out of the one hour and 26 minute runtime. It sounds about right. Here's the thing though, I have an extremely dark sense of humor and this is one of those movies that you have to go into the movie, you know, just with an open mind knowing that everything is a joke and not to be taken seriously. Because if you do that, then the movie is actually pretty good, at least in my opinion. But I'm also interested in your opinion. Do you think these movies should have been banned? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways guys, that is it for this episode of What The Fuck 5. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and if you did, make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel as I will be doing these every single week. Also, if you would, make sure to check out my newest video on my channel, which is my mental age quiz. I felt like I was going to fail it. As soon as I took the quiz, I was like, I'm going to be like six years old mentally. <laughs> Turns out that's not the case. So if you want to see how that ends up, make sure to check that video out in the description down below. That's it, guys. I'll see you next time for another What The Fuck 5. Thanks for watching and fair wins. Great success. What? Yeah, no, I can go. Cool.